about you, but as we sort of suffer all in this cost of living crisis, you increasingly become very, very savvy when you're out shopping, don't you? Have you noticed with all the main brands, you know, the big ones that you might have bought, say a couple of years ago, or even six months ago, they're simply out of your price reach, aren't they? So when you see them on special offer or reduced in that now infamous yellow sticker fight, you do kind of think, wow, bargain run for it that sort of thing you know and that's really what's been happening so much so over here one of the main supermarkets tesco's have decided that they're now going to dedicate a certain area at a certain point when all the reductions are going to come forward because apparently it's turned into something of a bong fight by that i mean that's a northern expression i think a bit of a set to you know people fighting to scramble and try and get some of the bargains as you can imagine but here's something that I've uncovered that I wanted to share with you because I think this is important. And the bottom line is, you know, we take uh, for granted that everybody's on your side when you're looking for bargains. You know, your mind's elsewhere, you've got things to remember, your credit card, your PIN number, your bag, have you brought your own carrier bag? By the way, have you noticed they don't care about offering those now? Oh, they'll charge you for those. That's all gone out the door, hasn't it? Saving the ocean from plastic. Oh, definitely. Yes, but this particular thing that I uncovered and was backed up by two very senior people within the retail industry, they told me this, so I wanted to share it with you. As I say, when you go out shopping, have you noticed this? And this happened to me a couple of times now, and it's quite simple. Say you go in a supermarket, as I do a couple of times, and maybe you pick up lunch for you, you know, yourself and the team or something, and you think, okay, we'll get a couple of sandwiches, and you see them reduced, and that can be anything, can't it, from a drink or, you know, a cake or a snack or something like that, and you take them along, and say if there's a bunch of you, you're chatting away. Now, do double check this again, because what they're doing is they put the sticker on the front and consequently, you know, they don't put the barcode sticker always on the back. Not saying everybody does this, but this is very, very active right now over here in the United Kingdom. And what they hope for is that you are absent minded. You don't necessarily notice that they haven't reduced it. So while it might say a pound on the front, you could simply be charged the original price of say one pound 50 by scanning the other barcode as they accidentally forget to put the lemon sticker on. You get the picture. And of course, this is really just an intricate way to make sure that you do not necessarily get the bargain that you thought you got. Of course, let's not forget, this is a very clever way of getting you distracted. But more importantly, let's also think about this. You don't necessarily now get a receipt, do you? So it's not really until you've totted up your money. But if you're paying by credit card, you may not even see it or remember it at all. So it's fascinating to note, isn't it, that this is how now they're operating to make sure they keep some of their profits, well, you know, in the profitable range. So next time you go out for a bargain and you think, wow, I'm going to treat myself to that, always make sure and double make sure and ask for a receipt. Because right now, across the retail network, particularly in the food sector, they're doing many devious tricks to make sure that you are still being parted with your money, even if you think you've actually picked up a bargain. As ever, I'd love to know what you think to this particular story in the comments below. Has this happened to you? Has it just happened by flu? Do you think it was a genuine mistake? Or do you actually see, like what I've seen, this happening on a very regular basis? Let me know your thoughts as ever. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.